Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about a little insight on how to get rid of the get rid of the white bounding box on a clip art. So we're going to go up to Import, and we're going to I've got a import that's called Swiggles, so we're going to import it, and it's going to give you this cursor and if you put it right there in the corner it's going to put it right there in the top page and in some cases I would never do I saw a, a gentleman do this on a video a while back and on this clip art it wouldn't really matter but you don't really ever want to do this because if it was a picture and you did this let's look at the difference let's click on the first one we did bitmap resample and we've got, it's just 96 DPI. But let's look at this one that we brought in the same way. And it's only 16 DPI because we've enlarged it. So I would not enlarge it until you've done something with it. And that might not even work, be bad on a clip art, but on a picture. Now there's another way to bring in clip art. You could, you know, resize your window smaller. And I do this a lot if I'm bringing a lot of clip art, I go, oh, I'd like to see what that looks like. Or I'd like to see what this looks like. You can keep bringing in clip art without having to import and, and not know what's going on. So with that said, we're going to take this piece of clip art and we're going to do it two different ways. So I'm going to make a copy of it. Control D. Bring it down here. I'm going to take a yellow box. And if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I like to do the yellow box trick. And immediately when I draw my yellow box, I'm going to go up to Arrange, Order, put in the back of page. So then my clip arts will be on top and be visible. So we're going to do both these clip arts a little bit different. The first one, I'm going to do the way I normally used to do it. And just go to Bitmap or Trace Bitmap. I'm not going to convert it to a Bitmap. I'm going to go to Outline Trace, and this time I'm going to use Line Art. And it's going to go through and trace. I'm going to hit OK. But it did not reduce all the background. It got rid of a lot of the background, and it did trace it. So you would have to go through here and actually break this apart, arrange, ungroup, and then go through here and delete all these colors. So that could be time staking. A lot of times it'll be grouped together where you could maybe, you know, drag it off. But this way is kind of a new way for me and it's a lot better. Go up to bitmap, bitmap color mask, take that eyedropper right there and click on that white box and then hit apply and then move it over and all the white's already been removed, and we haven't even traced it yet. Now, there are some times where you can play around. It did a pretty good job. It's got some drag, jagged edges, but almost all the white's gone. There is a slider bar here that you can play with that would, you know, play with the different things. But I just turn it up to 100. Now, let's go to, let's click on this. Let's tra trace, trace the bitmap. Line art, hit OK, and now our image. One, I think it's a little bit cleaner than the other one. And I mean, it's still got some grays in there you're going to have to play around with because you're going to, you could break it all apart and take it back. But instead of trying to delete all these pieces of white, when you go to bitmap, in bitmap color mask and use that eyedropper and there, there's a lot of different things you can do with this different colors but we can get into that on other videos anyway hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching